More Sunbreak stuff has just been revealed and I'm definitely hyped for its release. I won't be showing the whole trailer here, I'll be talking about the stuff that caught my attention instead. In the trailer, they revealed more stuff regarding Malzeno. There's going to be a new status called Blood Blight. It seems like it's sort of the same way with the Frenzy status that Gormagala gives you. Once inflicted with this status, it seems like you have to go on the offensive to prevent your health from going down. Luckily, they also introduced in the trailer Switch Skill Swaps. This allows you to change Switch Skills while in the hunt. There's a red Switch Skill Swap scroll and a blue Skill Switch Swap scroll. It wasn't mentioned how these scrolls affect gameplay yet, so what we know for now is we can be ultra creative and ultra aggressive with our approach because we can use numerous Switch Skills now. Imagine combining fanning maneuver and then switching to the other switch bind skill that propels you mid-air to put down mines with ease. I can't wait for the crazy approaches that will be born out of this. People hating wirebugs in Rise would hate this. We get Swap Evade. Like the name suggests, it's another evade skill. We can dodge monster attacks or use it to reposition. You can use this after every switch skill swap. I know some people are saying rise is too easy, but try to see this at a different light. You can be more aggressive with your playstyle and become a lot more creative too, and that will make the game in my opinion a lot more fun as well. Three new monsters were announced. We're going to get Seregios aka Steve. I haven't fought this monster. I've only experienced it in Monster Hunter stories too, so I have no idea what to expect. The two new monsters are kind of a bummer. We get Aurora Somnicant. Instead of a sleep AoE, it gives you ice AoE instead. And another subspecies of everyone's favorite monster, Almudrom. Instead of smothering you with mud, it's going to be lava now. Jokes aside, I am excited for these two subspecies because I can't wait to use piercing elemental ammo on them. I bet it will be juicy. Another thing that caught me by surprise is the introduction of bots in the game. Now, all the people saying they don't have hunter friends to play with will have hunter friends to play with. I guess the devs were playing a bit of Elden Ring while developing the game, so they decided to add their own version of a mimic, guess. Anyway, these NPCs can only be taken by you in specific collab quests, and these quests are single player only. So chill out. You won't see 10 characters in your screen when doing multiplayer. It's a dream come true for most, I guess, since you can even take the twins with you. More news would be released with regards to the new Silkbind skills of the 14 weapons on May 16. I am excited. Truly, I am. And one more thing. It seems to me that we might be getting Crouching Fire. Look at this particular footage. I haven't seen this animation before. The character is definitely crouching, and I don't think that's what firing with the highest recoil looks like. Can this be the return of crouching fire or siege mode? It's still too early to tell. Some say that might be wyvern, but clearly it doesn't look like it. In the footage, it seems that it fired three times and can still fire even more because the character is still crouching. Who knows? And oh, I think we got countermines back with LBG? That's about it. Thank you for watching. Are you excited? Tell me your thoughts and comments regarding the trailer in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.